what's up my beautiful people and welcome back to my channel today we have a set of medium sized square part knotless braids so you want to first start off by detangling your client's hair and then you want to section the hair off as you can see I have that done already and once you get your client's hair section off as you want it you're gonna go in and then you're gonna just start parting the hair whether it's square part triangle parts or whatever parts the clients want on each braid i'll be doing six pieces of hair when i'm feeding the hair in and if it makes it easier for you when you are doing the knotless braids baby just count you don't have to count out loud of, of course but just count until you get to the point that you want to start feeding the hair in for the ends and then you're going to just go from there and on this part right here once i feed the hair in I braid it down then I flip it over I like to do that right there so it could get a flatter look once I start feeding the hair in because if you don't flip it over like if you don't watch it, it you'll see the knots um, in the hair and this is the reason why it's called knotless braid you are not supposed to see the knot so that is why I flip the hair around and then you're just going to continue to braid down however if the client wants her hair longer than usual as the braid the braiding hair comes you're just going to continue to feed the hair in throughout the whole process and once you get done you're just gonna do the same method on the next braid however when i do braid sometimes i go halfway and then i just come back and sit down and then braid the rest of the hair in but this is the second braid. You're just gonna do the same method, y'all. You're gonna count those six pieces in, baby, and you're just gonna continue to braid. However, I know y'all see that wristband, y'all. Like, literally, that wristband is so much help. Like, it keeps your hair clean, keeps your hands clean, and it just makes it easier for you to braid the client's hair. As you can see, once again, I'm feeding the hair in. I'm about to flip it over and feed another piece of hair in once i braid down a little bit and then just continue to feed the hair in continue to do this method throughout the whole process and you will get the same look however y'all like you're not gonna get it right on your first second or third try but just continue to do this method and i promise you it is much easier than all the knotless braids that I've seen so far. So that's why I just came up with my own little method of how I feed the hair in. Because looking at other people's videos, like I was like, when I first started doing knotless braids, I was like, will I ever learn how to do knotless braids? So this is the method that I came up with. And as you can see, baby, you see no knots. So they are knotless braids. But however, y'all, I am done talking. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. And I will see you guys in my next video.